tricky business. Hello, Year 11. Um, we're actually going to do something slightly different on this case study video. We're going to compare two case studies at once. So stay tuned and make sure you concentrate really carefully. That's a really good idea, Mr. Swallow. I tell you what I'll do. I'll work your laptop. That'll be great. Can you work a laptop, Sydney? Oh, yes. We have lots of laptops in wool muggy sanctuary. Good. Brilliant. Well done. Right. Okay. Two case studies. Here we go. The first one we're going to look at is an example of river flooding in Boscastle. River flooding in Boscastle. Now, Boscastle is found in North Cornwall. In North Cornwall, not a million miles from here, um, and that's where you find Boscastle. Now, Boscastle is a small fishing village in Cornwall, it, and on the 16th of August 2004, they had what's called a flash flood. That's when um, the flood happens very, very quickly, with not much notice, um, and causes an awful lot of damage. For your case study, for both of these case studies, you're going to need to know causes and effects of that flooding. Let's have a look at our second case study, uh, Sydney. Now, our second case study is Bangladesh and flooding in Bangladesh, which we're going to compare to. Bangladesh is in South Asia, a long, long way from Boss Castle, and it's a very poor country. Now, Bangladesh gets a lot of flooding because of the fact that it's very low-lying. It's very close to sea level and gets an awful lot of flooding. Okay? Um, two main rivers in Bangladesh. The main one that you need to know is the River Ganges, uh, which flooded um, very, very dramatically. Mr Swallow! Sydney, what earth have you got on your head? I've got a heart on my head! Is that stopping you speaking properly? Yes! Is it because it's so big? Yes! Right, I'm really sorry, but Sydney, that's the second time um, we've had to do this. Oh. The third time, actually. Um, so the cap's going to have to come. We'll, we'll confiscate that. That'll go down to student services. And that's the fourth thing now, Sydney, on your blue card. The fourth thing. I'm going to inform your tutor um, you're one way, one step away from an after school detention. Mr. Swallow! Yes, Sydney. Why are you talking in a silly voice now? Sorry! That's all right. Mr. Swallow, yes, actually, Sydney. I've been thinking as you're doing this. So already, as you're comparing. A uh, bar, bar, a bar, bar, where was it? Bar, bar, black sheets. Yeah, where was it? Heads, isn't it? Uh, Boss Castle. Oh, that's right. And bang, bang, uh, bang, ba bang, bang. Need to finish that quickly, don't we? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah, um, Already, I think one of the differences is the terrain or shape of the land. Is that right? That's definitely right. Bangladesh, very low lying. Thank you. Boss Castle, quite steep going into Boss Castle. Therefore, that caused the flash flood. Thank you. We'll um, find out more now, Sydney. I'll okay? go back to the lab. Top. Good, yeah, you're doing very well. Where you're pressing that button, Sydney, is fantastic. Can I get my cat back in student services at the end of the day, please? We'll see what Mrs. Wilkes said, because she's already keeping track of this blue card, Sydney. I'm not sure that's going to make Blimey, it. Blimey, not Wilkesy! Yes, Wilkesy. Now, let's go back to the causes of Boss Castle floods, first of all. Boss Castle had 60 millimetres of rain, the kind of amount of rainfall they'd get in a month, but it fell in two hours, okay? Secondly, this led to the ground becoming absolutely saturated. Saturated meaning lots of water in the ground, it couldn't take any more. Uh, the drainage basin, as I've just said, had really steep slopes, which meant the water went really, really fast into the river and meant that it flooded really, really quickly. And also, Boss Castle is at what we call a confluence, which is where two rivers meet. A bit like when you get two roads joining, lots of traffic, a bit of a traffic jam. We had exactly the same thing. With um, with this river here, which Mr. Makes Swallow. It, oh, you interrupted me, Sydney. I hate it when you Sorry. do that. Oh, Sorry, I right. thought of something, Mr. Swallow. Go on, Sydney. Mr. Swallow, you know the rivers either side of our school. Yes. The Sydney. piddle, oh, piddle, <laughs> the piddle and the Trent. Right, now, last one, Sydney. So sensible, please. Uh, this is. I promise. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. Right, get your point out, Sydney. Quick. We've got two case studies to get through here. I'll get my point out. I've got duty in ten minutes. Okay. Come now, on. the rivers have been flooding. I've noticed, I'm, I'm sure you've noticed, boys and girls, that the two rivers have flooded terrifically over the last couple of months. Is that because the water, the ground is so saturated? That's partly one of the reasons. Definitely, Sydney, you're quite right. You can't take any more. The ground is full of water, and any little bit of rain causes there to be flooding. Thank you. Okay? Right, can you go and sort the laptop out? Because we need yeah. to get onto causes of flooding in Bangladesh. I'm on it. Quick. You're not quite on it yet, Sydney. Right, causes of flooding in Bangladesh, you can compare now. In Bangladesh, they get an awful lot of rainfall, they get monsoons, and in July of this, this particular year, they had 900 millimetres of rainfall. So more rainfall than they had in Boscastle, but it was over a longer period of time. We've talked already about this idea of saturated ground, and the rainfall in Bangladesh fell on saturated ground, which made the flooding even worse. 
to add to that, you've also got the Himalayas, some of the highest mountains in the world. The snow melted on top of the Himalayas and came down um, to the lowland in Bangladesh and added to the flooding and made it worse. Finally, um, the rivers, the two rivers we've mentioned already, had peak discharge, so the most amount of uh, water in those rivers at the same time, which led to loads and loads of flooding. So that's the causes, Sydney. We all count the two causes, Boss Castle and Bangladesh? Yes, I'm beginning to get it. Different reasons, but nonetheless, those are the causes of the flooding. And in the exam year 11, you can compare those causes, say which was worse, how they were different, and that really pushes up your marks. You're getting two case studies in one answer. Sydney, Thank we've you. got to get go going on this now. Okay, okay, get okay, 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 I want it, I want it, yeah, I want it, I want it. Me. Goodness me. Right, we're going to look at the effects, finally. The effects of flooding in uh, Boscastle and the effects in Bangladesh. So, first of all, Boscastle. As the water came into the, the little fishing village, we had loads of homes, businesses and cars of more than a thousand people were swept away. Houses were destroyed and to be honest are still being rebuilt a little bit today. Cars were, were destroyed and businesses were really badly affected. Also we've got income from tourism being lost. Tourism in Cornwall as a whole but especially in Boscastle is really really important and obviously because of the clean up operation in Boscastle tourism didn't kind of get back on its feet for a while. This had an impact on livelihoods and businesses as well. And also lots of insurance claims because of the fact that there was flooding in Boscastle, which had a big impact on the UK economy. Happy with that, Sydney? Yeah. Mr Swallow, would it be a good idea for the boys and girls to YouTube Boscastle because they will actually get a real good impression of what it was like? Completely. Loads of stuff on the internet about these two floods, but especially on Boston. It's amazing how the rescue services, the Coast Guard, really were very brave and saved people. Because I don't think anyone died. No, that was my last point. In this flood, however wow. bad it was, however bad it was, no lives were lost. Let's compare it to, to Bangladesh. Oh, this is the was. worst though in Bangladesh. It was shocking. Right, Awful. Well, don't, don't steal my th th thunder, Sydney. Let me do that bit, please. Right. Effects of the flooding in Bangladesh are um, over 2,000 deaths, way more deaths obviously than in, in uh, Boscastle, 25 million made homeless, there were 44 schools totally destroyed, massive impacts, and 100,000 people caught waterborne diseases such as cholera. Now, management in Bangladesh of the flood, since that flood there's been some kind of things put in place, such as the flood forecasting and warning system that's got different stations around Bangladesh to try and give people information, there's man-made levees, banks at the side of rivers that have been built. And finally, there's been some controlled flooding in Bangladesh to take the pressure off areas that are more urbanised and more built up um, to try and stop them from being flooded. Now, those are two case studies that are really important. In your exam, you need to compare both of them. Happy with those two, Sydney? Yes. Don't forget, Bangladesh, I think you said it, but it's so low-lying. No lying, Sydney, yeah. It's amazing. I think something like 70 to 80% of the land is less than two metres high. That's fantastic. You're quite right. And that makes it prone to flooding. So remember, year 11, three points from each case study. Try and remember location of these places, causes and the effects. Really good luck. Thank you, Mr Swallow. Thank you, Sydney. Don't forget, don't say spurs. It's Arsenal. In reference to a case study you have looked at, explain how river flooding has affected an LEDC. In reference to a case study you have looked at, explain how river flooding has affected an MEDC.